the ladies that Ian was speaking to about earlier on. I don't know, Prosecco and bacon sandwiches, we should start every day like that, yeah. never mind a festival day. All important weekend then, how is it It looking? is, of course, yeah, and of course with it being a bank holiday there's a lot of uncertainty about Sunday. More on that uh, in a second. We have had some heavy showers just pushing through parts of Yorkshire central parts at the moment and there's further scattered showers this afternoon but in between the showers plenty of dry weather, plenty of sunshine. And you can just about make out the showers on the satellite picture from earlier. It's where the kind of white bobbly clouds and they're pushing across south eastwards. So we've got some showers out there at the moment, not everywhere catching them, but if you do, there could be the odd heavy one, the odd rumble of thunder. And you can see almost in a line that the way they're pushing through at the moment, but in between some good spells of sunshine. And certainly after those showers have pushed through, there will be uh, lots of dry and sunny weather about around 18 or 19 degrees. You might even sneak a 20 down the Vale of York with a moderate southwesterly breeze. So a mixed bag this afternoon, but those showers will die out into this evening. And then we're looking at, for most, dry conditions overnight with clear spells, perhaps just keeping a little bit more cloud across the dales, the odd shower here. In the east, it's really going to feel quite chilly overnight. These are the values in the towns and cities, but I imagine out in the countryside of, of North Yorkshire, parts of East Yorkshire, we might even get down to around 7 or 8 degrees. The breeze will lighten too. So into tomorrow, a fine start to the day, plenty of sunshine. We are going to see a bit more cloud bubbling up as the day goes on. It won't be until later that we see the risk of showers. Temperatures tomorrow up to around 17 or 18 degrees. Sunday, cloudy with some rain in the south. Midwest. That's a mixed bag you've offered us there. Yeah, not too bad on Saturday. Those showers won't come through till later. Thank you very much. Keely and I are back at 6.30 with Phil on the sofa. Join us then if you can. Good afternoon. What's the weather going to be like? It, it, it could be a bit mixed. Uh, we are having the world's biggest forecasting headache for this weekend. Just typical, isn't <laughs> no it, with pressure. it being a, a bank holiday. No pressure and the details are all over the place. At the moment, it doesn't look too bad uh, there at Bram, and particularly on Saturday, uh, it looks nice. I will come on to the details at the moment. <laughs> Let's take a little look at uh, some pictures that have been coming in over the last uh, um, couple of days. Uh, some morning sunshine at Scarborough there, a lovely orangey sky uh, over Scarborough. Um, the sunrise um, here, you can see the heather at Beamsley. And I've just realised, I've been so caught up with this, this, the, the forecast, the third picture's from Scarborough as well, there you go. The third picture, beautiful of North Bay uh, there. You can keep uh, your pictures coming in, paultheweatherman at bbc.co.uk or you can tweet me at Keely Donovan. So lots of things going on uh, this weekend. Let's first look at uh, Bram and what it's going to be like there. Tomorrow, as with the whole of Yorkshire, uh, Saturday, the better day, the most reliably dry day of the weekend. We might just get the odd shower pushing through on Saturday night uh, for Leeds Festival. And Sunday, I think there'll be a that bit more cloud being pushed up uh, from the south. The Chapel Town Carnival on Monday. Again, uh, it doesn't look at the moment like we're going to have those heavy showers we first thought we were going to have. It looks though it could be a little bit overcast at times on Monday, maybe brightening up again later. Let's take a little look at the pressure chart. I'll show you what's giving us the headaches. It is this area of low pressure, this frontal system, which is pushing up. Somewhere in the UK will get some rain. At the moment, it looks like uh, some showery rain on Sunday for southern parts of our region, and it could even hang on in there until Monday. That's a change in the forecast. that's only happened within the last half an hour or so. We were thinking there'd be sunshine and showers on Monday. Now it might just be that there's that bit more cloud for our part of the world. And there has been some cloud out there today. It's produced some quite hefty showers. We've had some thunder and lightning. You can just about make out the lines of showers on the satellite picture. Most of them have now died away. And actually, we're looking at a fine evening with some clear spells out there as well. And it's going to get quite chilly, particularly in the east underneath those clear skies. These are values in the towns and cities out in the countryside down into single figures. Around 7 or 8 degrees is possible. So the sun will rise in the morning at 9 minutes past 6, setting again at 5 past 8. Your next high water in Whitby, 2 minutes past 4 in the morning. So Saturday, the better day, I think, of the weekend. Bright and dry conditions. Plenty of sunshine to start the day. Cloud will bubble up, so we are going to see a bit more cloud. It won't be wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. But most of the forecasts don't have any showers on until right later in the day when a few light showers push through. It's going to be quite breezy out there, but temperatures about average getting up to around 19 or 20 degrees. 19 is 66 Fahrenheit. So on Sunday, at the moment what will happen, this is what looks like it's going to happen at the moment, is we're going to see more cloud pushing into our part of the world, particularly South Yorkshire, where there could be some showers. Further north, there'll be some sunshine. On Monday, some of those showers could merge with longer spells of rain across South Yorkshire, and then, of course, things settling down through next week. Just to time. Can I make a note of that? The most reliably dry day. I like yep, that Saturday, as an expression. Yes. <laughs> All that rain scheduled for my holiday in the Peak District. But it it's could change. Rainy. Keep up to date with the forecast, that's what I'm saying. Thank you, Keely. That's as far as we go, Amanda's back at 10.25. Join us then. Good night. <laughs> Good night.